Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning about linear and rotational movement and we're going to be using Scratch to create this demonstration. And hey, if you're new to coding or you need a refresher, check out my Learn to Code videos on YouTube which will get you up to speed really quickly. Uh, I suggest you also follow me at Pecoranio because I'll be uh, uploading videos fairly regularly so you should really subscribe. So let's get started. So I'm going to go to Scratch, I'm already there, scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click the create button because we're creating something brand new today. If a tutorial pops up, exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat. So I'm going to hit the little garbage can right there and say goodbye. Now I'm going to get a backdrop and the one I want is a nice clean blue sky one. Just like that. Nice simple. And I'm going to go get a sprite um, that turns. And the one I want is the sun. So it's way down here. The sun spins so right there the sun i'm just going to move the sun up into the sky like that now i'm going to code the sun to turn in a rotational manner so it's rotating it's spinning watch how i do that when the green flag is clicked let me make this a bit bigger so you can see i want it to turn 15 degrees right there turn 15 degrees and then wait just a little bit because it'll spin too fast otherwise so i'm going to go to the control and get the wait button and wait maybe like zero decimal two and then do this forever and i'm almost done this the sun so there's rotational movement right there watch green flag rotational movement perfect there's a great demonstration i'm going to do one more thing with this one when you click on the sun sprite it's going to say rotational so look i'm going to go here and get this one when this sprite is clicked so when you click on the sun it's going to say something so i'm going to go to the looks it's not going to say hello, it's going to say um, rotational for two seconds. So green flag, it's spinning. When I click on it, it says rotational. That one is done. Let me go get something else that rotates. Uh, so I'm going to go down to the sprites button right down there, click it, and I'm going to go get a motorcycle. Where is the motorcycle? Motorcycle, right there, the motorcycle. It's, um, Good size and leave it right there like it's driving there now the wheel we can't make spin but look what I can do I'm gonna go get a ball sprite this one I'm gonna shrink it and I'm gonna make it look like the tire so let me change it to about uh, 70% that's about the right size look I'm gonna put it right there nice now I'm gonna make that spin as if it's turning so um, when this sprite is clicked when this sprite is clicked, no, sorry, when the green flag is clicked, I want it to turn 15 degrees. Wait 0 decimal 2 seconds because it'll spin too fast. We won't even notice. 0 decimal 2 and do this forever. So now it looks like the wheel of the motorcycle is turning. Watch, green flag. So you can see it, it kind of looks like it's turning. Okay, now when you click on it, I want it to say something as well. So when this sprite is clicked, say rotational. So I'm going to go to the looks button and get that one. Say rotational for two seconds. So that is that. You can also get a snowflake because snowflakes spin. And if you get the snowflake, put it somewhere over here and have it turn for 15 degrees uh, forever and ever. And when you click the snowflake, it should say rotational. So I've got two things that are turning in a rotational manner, the sun and the ball. I'm also going to get a sun uh, snowflake to turn as well. Now I'm going to get a few examples of things that fall or move in a linear fashion. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to get a rocket ship. I like the rocket. So it's way down here, rocket. Oops, did I pass it? Rocket, right there, the rocket ship. Now I wanted to start way down here. Uh, I'm also gonna make it a bit smaller. 100% is a bit too big. I'm gonna make it 70%. Uh, I guess that's good right there. And I'm gonna have to start way down here. So when the green flag is clicked, I want the rocket to go down here. So green flag, green flag is clicked. Go to the starting position, which is down there. I'm just going to make it a nice even number, negative 70 and negative 150. Let's just test where that is exactly. Good, right there. So now what I want the rocket to do is move in a linear fashion. It's going to go straight up. Watch how I do that. So I'm going to go get the change y by 10 
because as you know, the y coordinates go up and down. y is up, x is left and right. y is up and down. And I wanted to repeat this 30 times. Repeat 30 times, because I think that will take it all the way to the top. Let's see, ready, green flag, and we'll go all the way to the top. Oh, no, it only went up that far. Oh, repeat 10 times. Repeat 30 times. Let's try that. Ready? Green flag, it should go all the way down there, and then go all the way to the top. All right, maybe a little bit further. Maybe I'm going to try this 40 times. So, should start at the bottom and go all the way to the top. Wonderful. Now, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this whole thing in a forever loop. So, it's just going to reappear at the bottom and go up and up and up over and over again. Perfect. That is moving in a linear fashion. Now, um, next item. Okay, next, I'm going to find something else that moves in a linear fashion. And what I think I'm going to find next is the mouse. So let me find the mouse. H-A-J-K-L-M. Mouse. There's the mouse right there. The mouse is a little bit too big, so I'm going to make it a bit, a bit smaller. Not 100%, but maybe 30%. Nice and small. Perfect, like that. And I'm going to have the mouse scurrying along the bottom like that. So watch how I code the mouse. When the green flag is clicked, I want it to go to its starting spot. So I'm going to go to the motion, go to, and it's going to make it a nice easy number, uh, negative 230 and negative 165. I think that should work. So let's see where that goes to. Perfect. You know, I don't like this uh, rocket going up without any kind of pause. I'm just going to go back to the rocket. I'm going to make him wait after he does all these changes, just to wait a little bit before he starts again. So I'm going to go and get a wait button, wait one second or so, right after he goes back to the beginning, and he's just going to sit there before he starts. Let me just try that. See, he sits for a second. He sits there for a second and then goes. So I just added that little wait right there. So I'm just going to pause. Now I'm going to go back and code the mouse. So now look what I am going to have the mouse do. It's going to change its Y coordinates and go all the way across there. So again, I'm going to have him wait for a second and then repeat, I don't know, 10 times, 20 times, 30 times, changing of his X position because X goes left and right. Y's go up and down. X's go left and right. So let's see if 10 times is enough. Ready? Green flag. Oh, no, not even close. It only goes that far. Let me try one more time. Um, I'm going to try 40. Let's see if that will take him all the way across the screen. Ready? Green flag. Almost. I'm going to try 50. And then I'm going to put a forever loop around this. So I'm going to pull that down a bit. I'm going to put a forever loop around this. So forever, go to the beginning, wait a second, and then change the X position that goes all the way across the screen. Let's see if that works for the mouse. Perfect. Wonderful. Hey, when you click on the mouse, he should say linear. So look what I'm going to do. I'm on the mouse right now. When this sprite is clicked, say linear. So I'm going to go to the looks button. Say linear for two seconds. Linear movement. That means straight a straight line. So I'm going to go back to the rocket ship. When you click on the rocket ship, he should say linear or she should say linear. When this sprite is clicked, say linear for two seconds. We're almost done. Okay, so you click on it and it says linear. Fantastic. I'm just going to go and show you the finished project um, here. So um, I've added a title. I made the title, click on the moving objects so people know what to do. And you can do that by going down here, clicking the paintbrush, and then using the T for text to write the words, click on the moving objects. I've also added some music. So I think the music sounds really nice. The music I chose was called Xylo 1. So remember, you get music by going to the sounds button there. Then you go all the way down here. And for this uh, activity, I chose a loop, which is like a song. So I went on loops and Xylo 1 is at the bottom. I think that works really nicely. So double click it. And then you can code it to play forever. So when the green flag is clicked, forever play sound xylo. So let's just test that. Ready? Green flag. You'll notice I also add an apple and a tree. The apple moves in a linear fashion. And here's how you code the apple. So I just got a tree. There's no code for the tree. I just moved it way over. And for the apple, I picked the starting spot of 
negative 162. I'm just going to make that a nice easy number. Negative 160 and I'll make this 75. And then the apple waits for one second and then changes it. It's y position by minus 10 because he's falling straight down. So I hope you enjoyed that activity. And um, if you ever get stuck, you just go back and look at the video and follow my code. Anyways, I look forward to seeing you again next time. Thank you.